Hello guys and welcome to Watching Time. Today we're going to review and I'm very happy to have also another watch to show from this brand, which is Olek & Weiss. Uh, so today we're going to talk about the P104. The Olek & Weiss P104 is one of their uh, designs that was released uh, in the past years. So it's not the most recent one. The most recent one is the Oceanographer that you see here. Uh, this is one of the ones before. Obviously, the oceanographer, as you know, it has a decompression vessel that is used to in order to calculate the correct timing of the compression. Instead, the P104 is more kind of a pilot line produced by Oleg and Weiss. So in this case, it's actually equipped with a circular a slight rule that determines and helps differentiate the speed distance, the range, and other data based on the cockpit of the pilot. So it's more interesting than just having the time calculator that they usually use on the pilots, for example, in the Fliegers, in the German pilot watches, in which you have the time going backwards, uh, so you can calculate how many, how many minutes are still missing. So in this case, uh, instead, it presents itself with uh, an interesting calculator that uh, very much like the one that you usually uh, use for, for example, to, in cars to calculate speed, Depe determining on the parameters that you're going to to use. Uh, and I'm not an expert on this guy, so please bear with me. Uh, you are going to to calculate some uh, data. So, for example, as you can see here, you have one inner vessel. Uh, let's say it's not a vessel, but you have an inner ring and an outer vessel. So in the inner ring, as you can see, you have the kilometers, uh, nautical stats. So you have different data. And as you can see, it has different uh, markers. So you can use it to calculate different uh, uh, data. The vessel instead, as you can see, has all the numerals uh, sometimes uh, going uh, in incremental values, uh, usually up to uh, in this case, 95, so 100, actually, if you count the 10. Uh, so I don't know how to use this vessel. So <laughs> hey guys, bear with me on this, but I, I think it's really cool. So at the end, the design, and you can decide where to put it here. I usually put it here because I like the difference between all the numbers put together and a little bit more of a space. But uh, if someone knows how to use it, it actually renders this watch a much more useful watch. So how it presents itself, it's very legible, black dial. As you can see, the inner ring is kind of a grayish tone. I think it suits very well the watch. Uh, the case, well, if we compare it, and I'm going to show you right now with the Oceanographer, in which I did another review. If you want to see a full review on the Oceanographer, please click on it. Uh, the case is exactly the same in terms of design, uh, if we want to put it that way, but it's not the same. So let's see the main difference. Uh, actually, uh, you have one case uh, that it's a little bit thicker than the other one. So you have a couple more of millimeters, as you can see here in the oceanographer. Uh, you also have a, a thicker and a dome glass here and, and here instead is a flat sapphire glass. The reason for that is that the this watch, the ocean graph, not the oceanographer, sorry, I'm I'm getting old and confused at this time of the day. Uh, <laughs> uh, the ocean graph uh, actually it's one thousand meter water resistance. So this is I think this is a good achievement, especially and this is something I have already said in the past for a watch in this price point and of this size. So you don't have, you know, the Mammoth watches that usually are 1000 meter water resistant. This is a small watch that you can wear uh, very nicely. And, and it's the same with the P104. I'm quite surprised. The quality, it's very nice. This is 300 meters. So it's actually a diver. If you want to, to see it from a, from another, uh, angle. So if you want to dive with this watch, you can dive, obviously, uh, but it doesn't have a bezel for divers. Uh, the dimension of this one is uh, 39 millimeters, almost 40, because it's 39 uh, 
it's 56 if I remember correctly. Uh, it's the same of the ocean graph. Uh, so let's say it's 40 millimeters. And in this case in particular, the thickness is 12.5. The ocean graph, is, is, as I was saying, it has a thicker case. Uh, both of them, uh, they come right now, I have it equipped with the, with the NATO band. And as you can see, uh, actually this is a Sperlon band. Uh, the Sperlon band, and I also have the steel bracelet. We have had some discussions about the steel bracelet. So uh, just to, to keep a point on that, the steel bracelet is beautiful. I think it's excellent, excellently done. And uh, so I'm just going to put this one here uh, and this one just to show you. So it's, they say it's made by hand and I can tell the quality is very good, especially on the bracelet. It's very smooth on the side that you wear it. And on the other side, it has this kind of chain scales that are really, really nice to detect. You can feel the quality of the, of the steel. And I know guys that when you spend so much time like me with watches, uh, you will agree that the steel, the feel of the steel, it changes and it depends a lot. And it tells you a lot also on the quality of the watch. Uh, it has no rough angles at all. It's very nicely, you know, uh, not polished, but uh, at least in size. The only, the only bad point that I see from this kind of strap if you want to find it a bad point, it's not really something uncomfortable, it's the clasp. So the clasp works really fine. It's very good in terms of quality in the closure, but I don't really like, and this is my personal opinion, a stamp metal clasp. I prefer for them to be full metal pieces. Uh, but this is just my opinion. This is my taste. So uh, in this case, I would have preferred for it to have another type of clasp, but uh, I'm sure it will have been a little bit maybe more invading, let's say, with uh, the bracelet and, and the wearability. So maybe that was one of the reasons. I don't know. I will ask and, tell, and ask them why, and maybe they are thinking on changing this in their next model. So it might be a possibility. But I know definitely this is something that most people that, uh, that own Olicon Wise uh, would like to see change. But it gives you also the vintage style, so I don't know. So you have here the Esperlon. The Esperlon is excellent quality. As you can see here, it wears very well. It remains uh, very, very nice on the wrist. It's a very nice color. Here you have the plastic uh, side of the tip. And as you can see, it, it presents itself as a very beautiful watch. Uh, this is the Ocean Graph. But it's the same exactly, and this is a one... Uh, one band NATO, so you don't have the double uh, sleeve on the back, just one. But uh, I think this is quite nice. The quality is good. It's resistant. The color is vibrant and very nice. And I, I, I actually like it more than on the steel bracelet, but definitely the steel bracelet, it's also very suitable with this type of watch. Uh, they use the same steel bracelets on all their watches. And as you can see, it can be uh, overposed and, and wear very nice also. So definitely it's a watch that you can decide to have it on both of them. They sell it on, on both of the straps. Uh, in this case, I, I really enjoy this kind of NATO strap. Uh, the Luminova that they use, uh, the Lum material, uh, in this case is orange, uh, just like in the Ocean Graph. And, and it glows off, in this case, yellow when you are in the dark. So it gives you a yellow tinge. Uh, it's very nice to have this hour hand, very straight design, very square. But at the same time, you have this kind of uh, re a rectangular minutes hand that have these uh, holes, let's say semi skeletonized uh, minutes hand that I think is quite nice and suitable for the watch. And also the second hand that, uh, that move very swiftly and it, the timing precision is quite good. It's Anita. Uh, they don't uh, produce in-house uh, uh, mechanism. So this is Anita 2824 slash two. You know, it's a 28,000 BPH. So, and, and it has a power reserve of around 20, 38 hours. 
So I have tested it and if you're wearing it for three days, you should not worry about it uh, losing its power reserve. So this is a very beautiful watch uh, and a very good option. Uh, so guys, I'm definitely not, not being paid by anyhow, by Oleg and Wise. Uh, these are my watches and, and I buy them because I like watches and I like them to be part of my collection. But if I can give my opinion to someone, uh, I think this were the, one of my biggest uh, surprises uh, of new watches in, in, in 2020. And uh, at least for myself, I know they are not uh, from 2020. They have been there for many years, but I didn't own one of them until 2020. And I, and it was really fun even during the COVID period in which all of us were locked down. The situation is still getting a little bit worse uh, and I'm sure we will cope with it, but it was nice to have them still sending watches, still selling them to people and making a lot like me happy to receive it and to enjoy it, even if I was at home. I actually had the opportunity to use it also on summer, uh, in the summer occasion. Uh, and if you want to explore a brand that is that is old but new at the same time and it's reproposing vintage style watches, I definitely advise you to to have a look at them. The the price, uh, you know, report between quality and price, I think it's it's right. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, this is all for now. I hope you like this video and you like also the review of another model of the. Ole Can Buy's family. Uh, I hope uh, to have more in the future. I uh, I would definitely enjoy and I definitely like the oval <laughs> kind of logo that they have. Uh, for me, I know uh, that it was not their intention, but it looks like a small oval that, that it's looking at you there, like a funny cartoon oval. So anyway, uh, take care, have fun and keep safe. Bye bye.